Thanks for joining us on Midday. I'm Stacey Sakai. Joe is off. The chimney fire continuing to torch the areas surrounding Lake Nascimento. The blaze growing in size. The fire starting Saturday is very active still. It is at 6,400 acres containment, just 10%. CAL FIRE says 12 structures have been destroyed, 20 altogether damaged in some fashion, not to mention 200 homes that are currently threatened. This morning, a small army of firefighters continuing their containment efforts on the ground and from the air, we are going to join Amanda Valdez, who is live at the scene. Uh, Amanda, thank you for joining us this morning. As far as you know, has the fire changed at all? Tactics, priorities for the firefighters? What can you tell us at this point? Well, Stacey, the fire has grown in size, but let me just take a look at what we're here. We're right along the edge here of Lake Nascimento, but right behind me here. You can see along these hillsides where that fire kind of come and destroy this land here. Some of the neighbors in this area telling us that homes used to be here. In one home, there's just steps that are left because the fire uh, burned that completely, completely down. But if you take a look on this side here, this entire side has been saved. Um, there's a neighbor that told us that uh, one of their neighbors came here and kind of helped fight off the fire from this area. Also, if you take a look over here on this side of this hill, just up here, <clears throat> You can see where that the fire went up on that hill as well. You can see all the way, all that ash going up that hill. That home luckily saved there. But here we are with Ken Haskett. He's a public information officer here for Cal Fire. He's just going to kind of give us a recap on where we're at right now. The fire has grown in size since last night. Just tell us kind of where you guys are at right now. Yeah, so we're really trying to reinforce those containment lines. We're, we're in a red flag warning. So the fire, you know, as it heats up during the day, it's in the mid-90s. So we're asking that people, you know, be ready, set and go and visit readysetgo.gov for the most up-to-date information too. Uh, visit us at cal underscore fire but we're at 6400 acres we have over 6,000 uh, sorry we have over 6,400 acres which have burned thus far and we're looking at over 1,600 firefighters on scene trying to battle this fire here at Lake Shasta or Lake Sam Lake Nascimento. Nascimento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, so just tell us a little bit about your goals. What are your goals for today? I know that the temperatures are supposed to go back up. There's a, a red flag warning, like you kind of said. So what are the goals for today? Uh, the goals today in this area, we're at Cal Shasta right now. The goal, you see a PG&E behind me. They're going to try to get uh, these homes repopulated and let people go back in here as soon as possible. So we have the engine companies on scene trying to make sure it's secure and safe for them to go back in. And then in conjunction with that, we're also doing... Uh, live fire, uh, we're containing those uh, fire lines and making sure we really suppress this fire and get this fire out as soon as possible. Okay, great. And uh, we were just talking a little bit earlier, there are firefighters from not all over California, but also all over the country. We spoke to somebody who's from Alaska here. So just tell us a little bit about the efforts here. Yes, it's a, it's a joint effort, a cooperative effort from firefighters, not only from all over the state of California, but all over the nation. So it takes uh, a lot of personnel to run these uh, big incidences, but our goal here is to make sure everyone stays safe. Uh, that we please, uh, when we issue those evacuation orders, uh, we need people out. You can see how remote it wasn't to get in here for this morning's drive. So uh, just, you know, be ready. Uh, and then if you can help us out by, you know, leaving out as soon as possible because all the traffic and all the engines that we need and equipment that we can get in here, you know, so. Okay, great. Thanks so much for speaking to us. So again, just reinforcing this area, kind of being a remote area here. We're just over the hills here. You can see where the fire has gone up. Luckily, this home here being saved from that. You can see where all the ash is. Now, right now, fire officials tell us that the cause of this fire is under investigation. For now, we're just on the edge here of Lake Nascimento. I'm Amanda Valdez, News Channel 3. All right, thanks so much, Amanda. And Amanda just mentioning the smoke and the ash. That is uh, billowing towards Hearst Castle grounds, and officials are taking extra precautions today. Depending on wind direction and strength, smoke and ash can shift quickly, so officials temporarily shutting down those self-guided tours. Tours will be fully guided, and uh, schedules are being consolidated due to the conditions and that air quality. Those temporary changes and precautions will be noted on the Castle's Facebook page and the website.